Good afternoon. Wow, um, Fausto, thank you for reminding us that education and for us as teachers, educators, it's important to remember that we need to provide supports not only to our students, but to our fellow family and colleagues and teachers. So thanks for reminding us of that. Really important. Uh, good afternoon. We're winding down, obviously, and I hope that you have found this week renewing and also mentally challenging, but you're leaving with a sense of excitement to go back and do the difficult, hard work that we all know um, lies before us this, this school year. On Tuesday, uh, Tony shared with you our approach to supporting you and your work, and I would like to reflect a moment about that particular discussion. On Tuesday, Tony mentioned our approach to our work at North Carolina New Schools Breakthrough Learning for those out-of-state um, attendees. Our talent design and quality approach is essential to the creation of an integrated system that sustains over time uh, with supports for teachers and educators and principals and district leaders. Our goal is not to create a fragmented a stack of accumulation of pieces. Our goal is to create a system in which that you can depend on and that can be sustained over time. To us, North Carolina New Schools, your work, the work you do is very challenging and it actually demands that we as an organization create multi-dimensional solutions and requires for us more than just the accrual or accumulation of basic and current educational products and services. We must co-develop the supports with you and we must invent new ways to engage and challenge students. To me, this is design thinking. Design thinking is the framework for ingenuity. And design thinking can generate excitement for new ideas and leading to solutions that address unmet needs. At North Carolina New Schools, we are constantly collecting, analyzing, and acting on data to support our continuous improvement, and we utilize the same tools that we talk about in our sessions with you, such as the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycles, or PDSA cycle, and we live out the idea of prototyping and informed design. To illustrate this point, you're about to view a short video highlighting our new professional learning framework. This new framework includes your feedback, and you will see that the options for the framework are customizable to your school, and that there is an intentional alignment between your school's vision, our design principles, and quality classroom instructional practices. I personally would like to share with you that as a teacher, high school principal, and state leader, I kept one mantra in the back of my mind, and I want to lead others and lead you by asking you to remember this simple mantra, and that is to never ask others to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. It is so important that it was one of the key motivating factors for me when I decided to join North Carolina New Schools, because see, that's not just my mantra, that is our organization mantra. And so when we ask you to design, create, prototype, uh, try new things, fail, flat, fail fast, iterate. Um, we, we do that too as an organization. And so I'm excited that our team is launching the new professional learning framework that we have created that, and we ask you to actually implement this over the next year. So I hope that you enjoy the creation and that it will inspire you to take on the challenge of improving learning outcomes for students. So we're gonna watch the video and some of you have already seen this, especially principals have uh, seen information already past your desk on this. And then after that, I'll follow up with some closing remarks and um, invite our guest speaker, um, student speaker to the stage. Every student graduates ready for college, careers, and life. Every student graduates ready for college, careers, and life. Every student graduates ready for college, careers, and life. 
powerful learning leads to student readiness. And teachers are the designers of powerful learning. In our professional learning, we emphasize the connections between design, powerful learning, and redefined professionalism. Elements of North Carolina New School's design principles that promote student readiness and success. We ask teachers to consider the why of their work and ours, and we invite them to examine how learning new instructional strategies and working with an instructional coach are part of a bigger shared vision for students. North Carolina New School's on-site professional learning, delivered by instructional coaches, is designed to provide structure, choice, cohesion, and support to align and differentiate each school's professional learning needs with our design principles. Design and powerful learning are central to the framework. Intentional use of an instructional design process engages teachers in an ongoing process of discovery, development, and delivery to continuously improve their instruction and meet the needs of their students. The concept of design also empowers teachers to create and to recreate powerful learning experiences, allowing students to move toward identifying problems, creating solutions, synthesizing relevant knowledge and skills, using technology to learn content, internalizing a design approach to thinking, and demonstrating learning outcomes through multiple and varied opportunities. The model supports teachers to explore and define powerful learning and what it looks like in the classrooms for teachers and for students. We look at powerful learning through the lenses of engagement, understanding, culture, and personalized learning. And these become the anchors for each of the first four years of service to a school. The model also includes specific sessions on learner-centered strategies to give teachers concrete tools and support to create powerful learning in all content areas. These strategy sessions are paired with design workshops that support teachers' implementation of the strategies in their classrooms. In years one and two, these strategies focus on questioning, discussion, reading, writing, feedback, and collaboration. In years three and four, the strategies are aligned to themed strands that schools can choose to focus their work. We have also added options for redefined professionalism sessions to emphasize the importance of collegial conversations and reflection as essential to sustainable improvement of instruction and school culture. While we encourage schools to follow the recommended sequence to the greatest extent possible, we also know that each school context is unique and requires a differentiated approach. Therefore, sessions may be modified, rearranged or omitted based on the needs of the school and observations of the principal and school support team members. Evidence-based decisions utilizing the impact plan should guide the professional learning plan for each school. In order for schools to make the most informed choices, we encourage schools to reflect on the following questions. What professional learning has a school had to date? What are the goals identified in the impact plan? Where is the school in the process of instructional rounds? What have other coaches accomplished that should be continued? What input has been gathered from the school support team? What could design workshops look like at your school? What could redefined professionalism look like at your school? What could a cohort model look like at your school? So as a follow-up to the video, I would like to remind you that great learning is an intentional product of intentional design. And the questions that um, were left on the screen for you, I hope you will reflect back to those questions with your colleagues um, and, and discuss them as the year goes on. You saw that within the video that powerful learning is central to our framework. The choices that you will have this fall and throughout the year 
will push your thinking and challenge you to create better conditions for student learning. I hope that you sense that my words are not just educational buzzwords. We really believe that teachers are the designers of powerful learning within the classroom. In principles, we believe you are the creators of the climate and the culture, academic culture, where designers can prosper. This year, I challenge you to focus on the real evidence that your students are learning, collect this evidence, and study the evidence, and discover new ways in which students can demonstrate or provide evidence to you that they are actually learning. In closing, to inspire us all to create learning experiences that go beyond just mediocrity, I would like to introduce to you Shanita Jackson from Henderson Early College, and I feel that she will place things in perspective for us and inspire us with her words. So will you please join me to the stage? <laughs> 